I'm gonna replace the lifters on them. I'm gonna put brand new lifters in there for sure. Uh, it's one of the things. Uh, it's one of the problems that could occur uh, with valve train like that. It's the lifters, and uh, you can't really press down on them. You can, you can if you have the right tools, but I don't have the proper tools to press down on the lifters to see if they're functioning properly. So I'm just going to replace them. Uh, take that assumption and uh, and replace them. So first, we're going to see if there's any obvious signs of scoring. It looks relatively clean. It's definitely clean. And you see if there's any scoring because you want to know, um, you want to see if it's a camshaft that may, might have been faulty, right? So if you see any scoring in the journals, then you know that the, uh, the issue with the cam. But so far, and it's not looking too uh, different at all because this is clean. Journals appear to be clean. So, I don't. Okay, so safe to say that the issue is not inside the journals here. So, again, I'm looking at the uh, journal or the lobe and feeling the lobe to see if there's any inconsistency in it. I'm not seeing anything. This is the intake cam, right? So, I'm not feeling any obvious uh, scoring. I mean, I don't see any obvious signs of trauma on this. Any, I don't see any pitting or anything like that. There's no scoring. There's no flat spots on the lobe, right? So that's what I'm feeling for here. Let's see if there's a flat spot. No, it looks uh, clean to me. Exhaust cam. I feel so just any obvious flat spots, maybe you know, a little bit. You can see a scoring there. I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. There's a line coming through right this lobe you can see it somewhat the line so I might look into that high friction area I'm looking at the third lobe here there's a score on that there's definitely some strain there and I was pulling the head out I can see something in one of the exhaust valves God. Okay, so signs are still there. So in this, so these are all dry. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, that's dry. This is the second one. It's dry. Third one was wet. Do you see that? And you can see the scoring also on the camshaft, and that's on the third cylinder. The exhaust cylinder so and you can see that one is dry so this is our issue right here we got to get that valve out and i bet you that's the issue with this engine here there's a lot of gum in there now let's take a look at the rocker all right so this is the uh, number 10 Make sure they're spinning freely and there's no major score marks on them. So. Spinning nicely. So this here would be the intake side. And 
This is the third one. Look at that. There's a line in there. This is the third cylinder here. There's a line right there. Yeah. I mean, these are obvious lines. I mean, there's lines in the other ones, but like on a, on the edge on that one. These ones are directly right in the middle. If I'm looking at the other ones, yeah, this is significant. You can see that. It's, it's, a, it's an actual groove inside. Continue on. I mean, there's one there. You can see the marks on there, but... Again, and we're looking at the third cylinder. So the score marks on the third cylinder on the uh, rockers are deeper so that tells me again there was there was stress in that third cylinder. So last but not least, we're gonna have to check the lifters. So we'll look underneath. See if there's anything. Alright. Here's the third cylinder here. Yeah, you can see. Like a little wear there, like you can see that's more silvery there. So again, there's pressure there. But then you look at the uh, first cylinder, so. And certainly, what I want to be doing is... Uh